Hasta bin sinds asorli An il klim ur bartat Weer hasta bin sinds asorli I'm uh, out uh, hundred meters from the Fosswear this morning in a lovely field, nice and flat, perfect for a bad dip. <laughs> uh, and no, it's not a, a farewell because I've got cancer to her. Uh, this is probably just a fatty lump like rest of me. So we're, uh, I think we're still in Somerset. Yeah, we are between sort of Yorville and uh, Glastonbury uh, and it's got potential to be a good Roman and uh, an interesting medieval site as well it's a lot of history my first hole a nice 44-45 good diagonal repeatable Is that it? Lump of lead for much of it. No, that's a fossil. I think so anyway. Yeah, that's just a devil's toenail fossil. Sides are very deep. I think I've just broken a bit of pottery. Damn, I have. I'll put it in my bag. Don't put a rim on that. Another one of those devil's toenails, bigger this time. Ooh, a ring pull. Oh, I'm getting a shallow 86. Kind of nothingness. Too corroded to uh, see anything. Oh, when there is, right? I didn't go. I saw it. Oh, it's there. Look. It's a penny. Don't know. A bit crud. Oh. These new gloves I got for Christmas are a bit clumsy. Can't, can't see a head or a date. Am I looking at the wrong side? <laughs> when I clean it up, I might find something. So I put that in the boxy thing as well. Well, that's a cottage still. A pretty penny and a very pretty penny. Go on, let's just treble check. You never know. Yeah, <laughs> there's something else. Not a brilliant signal, but <laughs> there's another one. Where is it? Now I might need pinpointer for this one. Oh, 
another one. Oops. Nice green one. Quick wipe. Oh, this at least has got a head on it. And I'm getting a decent 85, 87 minutes of this club. Oh, wait a minute, I see something green. Can I? Yeah. Oh, and I know where it is. All the days not time to squeeze your bottle. Just found something very, very nice. Roman double-ended fibula, or Saxon double-ended fibula, one or two. Don't know without looking at books. Oh, that's a garret I better do all the porch plants if it's a scheme bit. Well, I've got a cracking 72, 73. Ah, bullet casing. Quite a big one, this one. Yeah. Bigger than a 303. Looks like an aircraft one. Some World War II Ooh. fighter. Yeah, interesting enough. Well, well it's lunchtime on my no, it's definitely not a farewell because I've got cancer to her. Sorry for the traffic noise. I'm parked in the field right at the side of the A35, the Foss Way. And it's a busy road to, to say it's a Sunday. So, I had to come back. Not the usual excuse to get some painkillers. 
Yeah, I needed a coffee in my Yorkshire Man in Dorset mug. Available from all good stockists. Oh, hang on. I'm the only stockist. Available from me. £5 if you're interested. Free postage. Uh, but no, I was rambling too much. Just found a brilliant bucket list. And look what I found. A museum piece, if ever there were one. I'm not going to clean it. I'm going to let the powers that be at uh, the British Museum have a look at it first. Now, I've never seen one in the flesh. It's got nice, almost Saxon markings on it. But I don't think it's a Saxon double-ended brooch. I think, yeah, I think it's Merovingian. Uh, which was sort of that part of the Gaulish Empire, uh, which the Romans took over. So Merovingian, uh, <laughs> Merovingian uh, Roman brooch, fibula type thing. Um, definitely a bucket lister for me. I, I think it's still got a trace of gold gilding on it, on the edge. And that looks like a gemstone of some sort in the middle. Uh, you know, like a flat bit of glass or gemstone. Probably glass. Um, brilliant find. Well, so I've seen pictures of them in uh, Hattat's books. Uh, and I've seen the Saxon equivalents in, uh, is it West's books? But uh, I've never seen one in the flesh. But now I've found one. <laughs> So I haven't stopped trembling since. <laughs>